Hello, 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 ow, <laughs> just um, making sure that my audio thing is going and um, loading up the game. So hopefully um, anyone who's here can hear me, I don't know if anyone's here yet, um, everyone else is live so <laughs> That's fair enough. Um, with no obligation to watch. Um, but today we have um, Road to Guangdong, um, which I actually played a little demo of. Um, hi, Alkesh! Alkesh with a thumbs up. Thank you, Alkesh. Um, so, Road to Guangdong, I played a demo of in the Summer of Games. Um, and it's, uh, you basically go on a road trip with your gran, which is exceedingly heartwarming. Um, so I was very excited for this one to come out. Um, and then of course, uh, I got a promo code for it and I've not had a chance to stream it yet. So we're correcting that today. This came out on the 28th of August, actually. Um, and it's October already. I do not know how the year is going so fast, yet it feels like it's so long. It feels like it's like six years since um, March, not like over six months. Um, so this game's $20, which is currently $16,474 in pounds. Um, it's published by Excalibur Games and developed by Just Add Oil Games. Um, I believe the developers were in an ID stream when ID streamed this. Which was pretty cool. Um, and yeah. <laughs> and TA's region cookies are broken, which is always funny. Um, so, yeah, so there are um, 15 achievements, all of which look like they're missable because it's about the trip, it's about the journey, it's about spending time with your gran, who has a cool name. <laughs> But I forget. So, without further ado, I remember to set everything up. Um, I think we're mostly there. Still think I keep on knocking. No, nope. way that went the wrong way. I've knocked something. Something's not quite aligned right. Um, so, I'm just going to see what we've got. I'm just going to turn. Down the master volume a teensy bit. Um, and yeah, sensitivity's fine, so let's start a new game. I'm gonna have to get my um, screen camera angles sorted out. Um, for extra life, which is in 17 days. Well, less than 17 days, more than 17 days. My clock is wonky. Um, it'll it'll be 8 a.m. So it's a half a day, whichever way. So there we go. Hopefully this has subtitles. I don't know whether it has voices or not, but um, I can't remember. Okay, so it doesn't have voices. Um, I'm just going to do Joe voices because if I try and try and do any kind of accents, it's just going to sound horribly racist, and I don't want that. Um, so I'm going to do a oh, here we are, grandma voice. And um, so, what's this place, and why are we here? Why are we here? Guma. Guma! That's it. I love that name. We need to collect Sandy. Is this the place, Guma? It's your Baba's old storage unit. Since he... Well, after the accident, I moved most of their things from the restaurant here. I thought Baba sold Sandy years ago. That's what we told everyone, but your Baba and I couldn't do it. Why is Sandy so special to you and Baba? 
Lubaba and I used to drive around to find good food and get new recipes. We had a lot of adventures, just the two of us and Sandy. It'll be good to take Sandy out after all that's happened. If only Baba could see us with Sandy. It's a good way of remembering your parents. Anyway, do you have your driving license? Yes? Good. Here, take this key. I want you to have Sandy. When your Baba took over the restaurant, he had Sandy. Now you should too. But... Ah, uh, yeah, just take it so we can be on our way to the restaurant. Thank you, Guma. Aww, cute. Okay. Keys for Sandy. Now that's marked as a missable. It's marked as a missable. How is that missable? I spent I spent I spent half my time on this on on um the site fixing the um flags. Oh, thank you for the host, Alkesh SK and Dopey. I mean, I know the other ones can be missable because it depends on who you visit and, you know, that sort of thing because it's very much a petrol management game. <laughs> but yeah, the very first achievement is not missable. Right, we're committed now. We have the keys to Sandy, the car which belongs to Sunny's Baba and Guma before him. So Baba must be her dad. I'm making assumptions here. Um, and Guma's obviously the gran, so yeah. Let's go then. Wait, you need to fill fill Sandy Sandy's oil and petrol first. It's dirty. That's gonna be so dirty. Can't the mechanic do it? The car won't drive without oil and petrol. What you want Guma to do it? No, I'll do it. Good. How do I do it? How do I fill Sandy? The oil cap is on the top of the engine under the bonnet. The petrol cap is above the back wheel on the passenger side, inside a flap. To fill one, just look straight at it, check it, then choose the refill option. <laughs> That's really what she'd say. Okay, right. All right. Open. Oil. Refill. Oil. Done. Woohoo! Alright. Still need to fill Sandy's petrol. I know. I didn't realise I could back out passenger side flap. Okay, yeah. Hi, Dan. Oh, yeah. So if people want to also watch Reese at the same time, Reese is streaming Spirit Farrah. Hey, I fixed my stream deck. It's no longer just spreading green ticks at me. And you can watch both of it at the same time. Um, which is cool. Um, I think Jess is also streaming. Um, I don't have a button for Jess, sadly. Um, but that's Tiger Lady. Um, I believe she went live. She's playing Crafty Penny. Um, but yes, Reese Superboy is streaming Spirit Farrah. Oh, he's about to finish. He's tired. <gasps> oh, well. Um, i going to fill up the petal roll. Confirm. I have filled up the petal roll. Um, okay, well, if you want to catch the end of Reese's stream. Um, <laughs> ah, so what I should have just done was move uh, after I'd filled up the oil. I was a silly. Okay, there we go. Good. Sandy's good to drive now. Oh, it's weird. You're a, like a light blue today, Dan, on my thing. Um, it's slightly disconcerting. You're not. You've not been dark blue before. You're usually like an orange. It's weird with the whole non-permanent colours. At least old Pesh is always purple. Um, so yes, so we're going on a road trip. This is the road to Guangdong. Um, Guangdong. 
there's no voices, so I'm doing the voices. I am so therefore you get Joe voices and Joe pronunciations. Hopefully. Browns and juicy? What the hell did I say? Road to Guangdong. The game is called Road to Guangdong. I'm trying to pronounce it properly, but I'm not sure whether I'm doing it. Um, right, okay. Oh, before I forget, two things you should know. You can press the hamburger button to show the pause menu. Oh! Colour. Colour. You are an orange colour. You are blue today. It's confusing. <laughs> I don't know whether you're round and juicy or not. I've never met you. But your name is usually an orange uh, or red and it's blue. It's confusing me that it's blue today because blue is Reese. Reese is blue. <laughs> I don't know if you... I, I'm guessing it's a prime thing or something to set the colours. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I need to slightly adjust the camera so I don't ooh, use half my arm. And I also feel like I'm hugging the side of the sofa. So I'm going to have a, a rearrange. It's possible that I just need to shift it along slightly so I can get it more central. Um, it's probably moved with all the times that I've moved everything and I've not put it back right. But I will get it Pro I will get it properly aligned for extra life. Um, along with my hair looking not so quite grey and dilapidated. Um, so I've got to make sure that I've got that I'm going to be comfy for 24 hours. Definitely got to be comfy. And window button shows the gameplay menu. Did you get that? So, gameplay menu, prologue, inventory, car parts, rented. Ooh, recipes. I don't have any recipes yet. I... Some suck. Kevin Tong is martial arts master at Sifu. He's Sunny's some suck. Third of the Tong siblings. Gugu and family. Gugu Helen is the fourth of the Tong siblings. Her family is a farm on the outskirts of Shenzhen. Uh, Guma's associate. Guma is a lawyer who helps the restaurant with business advice. Um, Zai and Atsum. Suksai is Sunny's youngest uncle. He and his wife have a precious puppy called Bye Bye. Ah, oh, David Tong, fifth of the Tong siblings. David is Sunny's Mseok. He lives together with Mama in Gongguang. Okay, so I am butchering all the pronunciations. I apologize in advance. Um, and then Mama, Mama is Sunny's paternal grandmother and matriarch of the Tong family. So Guma must be the maternal grandma, maybe. But these are the people we get to visit. And then we've got car parts, inventory. So we have the last letter Sunny's parents wrote to her before the accident. Paper is so well read that it feels soft, almost like cotton. We have the keys. Okay, so, oh, all right. So the prologue, Sunny and Guma are visiting the lockup she inherited from her parents. Okay, so this is the, ah, okay, cool. Understood. Understood, Guma. Thanks. Great, let's go. Ooh! Driving tip, coolants. Parts are much more likely to break when the coolant gauge is in the red. Okay, money zero, spent so far zero. Sandy has full petrol and full oil and no car parts. So there's a little bit of a management game. So we have a go for help button. I'm guessing if we break down. Tani. Okay, I don't know who's talking. All right, so. Oh, cool. Stop poking me. <laughs> All right. Start engine always helps. Okay, so yeah, so I was never quite sure how I knew where I was going in this. I just sort of 
Ah, uh, went very badly along the road. Ah. Uh. Okay, we've got some cool music, which is probably going to get my stream to move. So the cool, there's a, a gauge underneath the speedometer to the right by those open wires, which is possibly the coolant. But I don't want to go too fast. I've got petrol in my own. This radio still works, by the way. Just look and press the button to change station. eyes on the road. Oh, thanks to the host, Superboy. And also possibly a raid, I'm not sure. Hi, Waggly. Hi, Reese. You've given up early. I'm going on a road trip. I am driving very poorly on the wrong side of the road, on the wrong side of the car. It's very confusing. Yes, um, Twitch did this thing where it doesn't always tell you about raids and I'm on the wrong screen on my laptop to see in the stream manager. But as Waggly is also here, I'm going to go assume there's a raid and say hi. And when I've parked up, I will do a shout out. <laughs> but welcome to the stream. As I said, we're going on a road trip with our Guma. Um in Sandy. Whoops. Can't corner in this thing. Road to Guangdong. Yes. Oh my god. That was a very bad corner. I'm sorry, I was trying to look at the chat and I drove into a wall. Ah, park to enter restaurant. There we go. Whew. Yes, the car did just vanish into thin air. <laughs> I think it went underground. Um, so yes, that was a party of four yes unfortunately it does not say which is quite mean um i don't know why it does that um so yes hi <laughs> um so yes we are very poorly driving i can't see because there's a stupid pop-up on my um tv wired network is connected wired network is disconnected we need to ring up and get that fixed Wow, this place is still the same. Feels like Baba might just walk out of the kitchen with food. I know, it's hard being back after all that's happened. Your parents still want you to move on and Uma will help. So sudden. It all happened so suddenly and now I'm the only one left in my family. Ah, yeah. You have Guma and your Mama and uncles and aunties and cousin too. You're definitely not alone. So how is everybody doing today? It is Tuesday. I had to check the calendar this morning because I wasn't sure. But I'm fairly certain it's Tuesday. Um, so how's everyone doing this Tuesday? Um, I mean... Thanks, Alkesh. I was going to say, I couldn't say stuff. I think probably tell them to refresh. I did suddenly lose a bunch of viewers, so I'm thinking that there was possibly a, a glitch in the Matrix. I don't think I dropped... I haven't dropped any frames or anything, um, but I did suddenly lose, like, five people. <laughs> um, and I was just I was asking how everyone is. <laughs> yes. How is everyone? Everyone doing okay? Um... Anyone playing anything good? Um, I also really like her hair. And, um, I, yes. Twitch has been very weird for a few days. Yeah, I've had loads of dropouts. Um, when I was watching Scruff yesterday, it kept on stopping. It was annoying. Um, but at least it's not just me. Zoom's also been having issues. It's possibly some underlying infrastructure thing. Ooh, tea! What have you got for your tea? Um, you're definitely not alone. 
Your parents know you'll do well, which is why we're here. Let's sit down and I can explain. Sonny, your Baba left the general will. He left everything to you, including this restaurant. Wow. We can decide together how to manage this. But first we need to go and visit all the relatives to get their blessings. We've just seen them at Baba and Mama's funeral. It wasn't appropriate to talk about this during the mourning period. What's gonna happen? Very right, fair enough. We can take things one step at a time. Right now, we just need to acknowledge your Baba's will. This restaurant has been in our family since your Gung Gung started it when he was a young man. Your father and I grew up working here. I don't know whether these are nicknames to the people or the Chinese. God, I'm terrible at geography. Names for like grandma, grandpa, different types of aunts and uncles. Um, and I'm, I'm sure I'm pronouncing them wrong, so. I must say it's Chinese. It's not, I apologize. My geography is terrible. Um, I, I should, I should learn, I should be better, so. Um, I should have done a tiny bit more research, but it, eight o'clock crept up on me tonight. So it was a case of get ready for streaming or do a tiny bit of research, do do research on games. I was looking at desks. I'm still trying to get a desk for my home office. Um, and yeah, time just escaped me. But yeah. Um, your father and I grew up working here. <laughs> what was Gung Gung like? I never met Gung Gung. What was he like? He was very hardworking. Did Mama work here too? Yes, when the restaurant first opened, Mama did all the cooking. She stopped when your Tsuksai was born. By then, your father and I were working here full time. When Gungun passed away, your father, as the eldest son, inherited the restaurant. It wasn't easy for him. Not everyone in the family agreed with his actions. Thank you for the host, Emma. But you're the eldest. Gung Gung should have given you the restaurant. Gung Gung didn't have a will and they were very traditional, so they followed the custom. They also thought that I would marry and they didn't want the restaurant to leave the family. Oh, so maybe Aunt? She was the eldest. I don't know. Oh, wow. And thank you also, Paul, Scruff and Jesse for the hosts. I realise they're all automatic hosts, but it's still nice. Um, yeah, so, um, no, now I'm a little confused. So is this her dad's sister? Is this her aunt? I thought Yuma. I really wish I'd had a chance to do some research. Um, I assumed grandma. I may have made a bad assumption. I don't know. That's silly. What did Baba do? Well, he was a good cook, but he also loved taking risks. Once or twice. <sighs> Apologies. <clears throat> His recklessness almost got the restaurant closed. Wow. Your Baba and I were a good team, though. In time, he learned to take my advice seriously. Things improved with the restaurant. Actually, Grandma is very proud of your Baba for his decision to leave you the restaurant. Why? Why do you say that? This is the best decision he has made for the restaurant. Grandma is getting old and you'll be able to bring in new life and new ideas. The restaurant needs change to improve. <sighs> I'm crying. I guess I need a new direction, a, a fresh start. Maybe you can think about applying what you studied to improving the restaurant. You're right, and I will need to learn more about the restaurant. Ooh, I got an idea. All right. Ooh, make it my own. Hmm, when I'm studying art, I always look at good art and try and figure out what makes them good. I can do that for the restaurant. Hmm, that sounds interesting. 
I can learn about what makes good food and good eating experiences. Yes, just like when your Baba and Guma would go out and try new dishes or restaurants or hunt for new recipes. Hmm. Did you know that every Kong has a secret recipe? No, do you have them? I have mine. Maybe you can start by convincing your uncles and auntie to share theirs with you. That's a great idea. <sighs> You've matured so much these last months. I'm sure you'll do well. Just listen to your guma. Now let's get going. Oh. Here, Sunny, take this. I always keep a little money aside for unexpected restaurant expenses. We'll need it for our trip. Your first task is to manage it properly. Thanks, Guma, I will. You had better. Sandy can get to be quite high maintenance if we're not careful. Be good to see everyone again. Maybe we'll also have a full reunion in the spring festival. Guma? What? I'm glad we're doing this trip together. Ah, yeah, so inconvenient. My bum is already aching thinking about how long the drives will be. Where to now? We have to take Sandy to the mechanic. We need to make sure she's ready for the trip too. I don't know the way. Grumar knows. Let's go. Grumar may know, but I don't know how to know where Grumar knows. Oh, well, we have 400 whatevers, so that's good. My name might be Sunny. Okay, so I guess we're going this way. Yay, yeah, we're taking the corner rather poorly. Yeah, please don't go into the fence. Yes, if anyone notices how I'm supposed to know where I'm going, other than follow the road and look for the the point where it says park here then um please do shout out i will pay as much attention to chat as i can obviously it's very hard to drive in a straight line um, and i'm going very very slowly in probably the wrong lane but I'm very confused because I'm on the wrong side of the road and the wrong side of the car. For me. <laughs> I'm trying not to overheat, but it's really hard considering it seems to be some... Aha! Aha! Automatic. Rather than a manual thing. Okay. We're definitely going to need some petrol. Oh! Hydrate! Thanks, Dan! I have tea. Feels slightly warm, so might be a small hydrate. Yes. Hi, how can I help? Our car needs a service. This old junk, it needs a miracle, not a service. I'm being polite. Oh no, we need to keep Sandy running. We have a big trip ahead. Wait, Sandy? Forgive me, Madam Tong, I didn't recognise you. And I didn't recognise Sandy either. She was here a lot when I was a kid. Hmm, <laughs> you look a lot like your father. He was more polite to his customers. Sorry, Madam Tong. You and Mr Tong were some of my father's best customers. It's been a so long I didn't expect to see Sandy again. So you must be Mr Tong's daughter. Ooh, ciders. Interesting. Hey. Really need to look up the family names. I'm getting a bit confused. He was always very kind to me when I was a kid. I'm so sorry to hear about your parents' accident. Thank you. I'm glad that someone that knows my Baba is going to help us fix Sandy. Let's get Sandy to the workshop so I can take a look at her. Okay, I'll check Sandy and tell you what I think needs fixing. <laughs> Do you apologize? You can see my recommendations and you can choose what you want to fix. This is how all mechanics around here operate. 
Wait, we have a limited budget and Sandy is going to need a lot of work done. Don't worry, we have lots of old parts in the back which should fit Sandy. Just for today, I'll give you the parts for free and only charge you for the labour. Hmm, that's good. You also teach Sunny how to do the basic things? We have a long trip and we need to keep Sandy on the road. Of course, it's always nice to have company in the workshop. Sounds fun. I used to hang around Baba when he used to fix up Sandy before our trips. That's great! You can fix most things yourself. You only need a mechanic for big stuff like repairing engines. Let's get started! So, driving tips? So do you have any tips on how to handle Sandy? Try not to go too fast. You sound like Guma. Sandy is old. Her parts will wear faster if you overheat her. Okay, okay. Keep an eye on the oil gauge. If it drops quickly, you probably have a leak. Noted. Anything else? Make sure you always have oil and petrol so you don't run out on the road. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Right, work on the car. Okay, so. Repair options. Air filter. Okay, so replace. Cost 14, but it looks bad, so we should probably do that. So... Not great quality, but lots for the health. Then, hand belt. Nine. Okay, nine is okay. Increasing the health and the quality of torch. Wheels. Okay. the wheels. Okay. Engine. Missing. I can't replace the engine. We can repair it. Okay. There you go, that wasn't too hard, was it? I think that's all you need to do now. I think I'm done. I think I'm all done for now. Yes, yeah, Sandy's okay now, at least for a while. You seem quite comfortable around Sandy now. Yeah, thanks for showing me. No problem. While I was repairing Sandy, I put some spare parts, oil and petrol in your inventory. Thanks. They should help you get a bit further before you need to visit another mechanic. Are you sure Sandy's good to drive? As long as you look after her, Sandy will be fine. Thanks for your help. Bye. Anytime. Drive safe. Take care of Sandy and your guma. Yes, I will. Bye. So late. I was hoping to be at our first stop by now. Who are we visiting first? I've marked the places we need to visit on the map. You can choose where you want to go first. Do you have any advice on how I should decide where to go? We need to visit as many places as we can before we run out of money. Maybe we could visit the closest places first. Or we could visit the furthest to get them out of the way. What do you think? I just choose already. Okay, so. Blimey, considering it, I think the engine was quite expensive. Um, okay, so. We are currently in Guangzhou, and we can visit the associate, um, the letter, big sister, hard work, or dog sitting. So there are five options. I thought there were six people, so maybe. Any, any, okay, I had a feeling that that was going to be the pick. So we're going to the furthest away. Dog sitting. <laughs> we want to go to Kaiping, yes. Hopefully we can get to Kaiping without the car exploding. Okay, so. Okay, 
basically stop poking me. I wonder if Souffle is pregnant. They've been married for a few years now. They have one children, but they're too occupied by their dog. I've still no idea how we know where to go, but I'm just going to go road. Uh, parked into garage. No. <sighs> I didn't think. You chose it because there might be dogs. Well, I mean, that's a reasonable thing. Uh, okay, so... Oh, no petrol oil. Okay. What do I need? Okay, so it's my inventory. What I should probably do is buy a petrol and another oil. I know I have some in my inventory, but they will go, so that's the most. We'll just do, leave that for now. We should be good for filling up. I hope Sandy is alright, she's getting old. I agree, my eyes older, but you don't see her complaining. <laughs> Are we going now? Yes! I did not mean to go there. Okay, so then I can't play for recovery. Alright, so there are four garages remaining, but we should be okay. I was just trying to... Figure out how to get on the road. Clearly I was doing it wrong. Alright, there we go. We're for a few now. Yeah, we've said that already. They're occupied by their dog. So yeah, so I have no idea how we figure it out, but we're going to go see the dog. I feel like I should put some lights on or something, but it doesn't seem to be an option, so that was a scrapyard. I think we've not gone far enough to keep fiddling around with car parts. Gonna have to hope. Maybe it doesn't matter which way you go. It's just about how fast you drive and how you take care of Sandy. got another scrapyard. Let's just see if we can pick up some interesting car parts and spares. Scrap pile. Nah. Unless we can sell stuff? Better quality. parts the health and integrity of these ones are better so their tie is always useful but uh, 
Um, so yes. What's everyone playing at the moment? Oh, what is this noise? It's not music. <laughs> Gumar's commandeering the radio. Okay. Um, I was trying to play King's Quest earlier, but as I said, time got away from me, um, so I didn't actually get anywhere with it. Um, I did finish Leisure Suit Larry yesterday. Um, surprisingly funny. I thought it was going to be really, really bad. Um, but it wasn't. Surprisingly funny and kind of, you know, I mean, okay, yeah, some filthy humour in there, but nothing that I thought felt massively out of place. I mean, it was still, you know, dodgy, but yeah. Cars, cars, cars. Cool. I'm assuming because 316, you're doing it for GTAS. So yeah, the scrap pile didn't cost us anything, so then... Oh. <laughs> well, GTAS being 360 game for this one. As soon as we don't really have to worry about it, get, getting 2,000, we should be fine. Uh, oh, Sandy will stop moving when he run out of petrol. Yes, pull over and top her up. Okay. Okay, well, in fact, there's a garage. Nope, we literally ran out of petrol. Did we? No, we didn't. We just stopped. We're literally at a garage, so it's fine. Oh, you're just growing ponds for now. Okay. I swear this is the same guy. Petrol oil. Let's just fill her up and keep our spare ones for now. Mm. Buy petrol. Yes, may as well fill the oil while we're here. Um, so we can sell petrol as well. But they, yeah, okay. Let's have a look at parts. Okay. So I can buy or sell parts, right? Okay. So <sighs> we've got an air filter quality. Yeah. It's better quality, so we could sell one and buy one. So if we buy that then sell that so it's not that much bad oil filter oh that's a good one hmm. engine Hmm. That's really good. We need to replace it. It's probably a good idea to do that. Um, and about if we sell that. Buy that, and then uh, we could sell the tank. You see, I think actually what we should do is just pick up everything from the scrapyard so we can sell it. And now I know that, I will do that next time. Um, I think we'll keep the good quality wheel for now. Um. We'll leave it at that. Okay. 
Okay, so let's have a look in the pairs. Fixed prices. So, check the car. No repairs, currently when acquired. Okay, there we go. Fair enough, so let's leave. I'm not bothering reading out the images. Oh, we're ready. Are you asking me of the car? A garage. Okay, so feel free to be Yeah, so definitely three garages remaining. We are a long way on our way. We've spent quite a lot of money, so yes, we really could do, have done with picking up all those parts at the scrapyard. But now I know. Now I know if we pass another one. Um, it doesn't cost us anything to pick up the parts. And we need to keep a better eye on the petrol. I know your parents' deaths have been really hard on you, Sunny. I hope visiting the family will help you see that they're still alive in all of us. Aww. Um, scoring points is good. Um, yeah, I, I scored some points. In fact, I had the highest number of points in the team yesterday. It won't last. I'm usually the lowest number because, well, I don't play so much high TA stuff. Um, I do have some stuff saved. Um, I just keep putting it off because I require a little bit of brain power and energy to play the game because i got to think and um, I haven't had that. <laughs> So, for now, I'm just chunneling through King's Quest because, well, it's an easy point and click. It's good for me for A, a little, it ups my point and click thing. Um, B, you know, it's still game score and it's got a decent TA diff, depending on which I play. Um, I've got both the 361s to do, so trundling through them as best I can is good. Um, Yeah, so this is a sort of a nice chill game, which possibly if it's too chill, it's going to make me fall asleep. And then I was thinking that I would do some more Lair of the Clockwork God on Thursday, depending on how I feel. Um, because there are rumours that someone has cracked the mysterious achievement. I have not looked at anything beyond someone said, aha, scrapyard. Oh, crap. Miscalculated the turn and went into the wall. That's not good. Oh my god. I can't see the right hand side of the car very well, so. Alright, we're going to pick up all the parts. So we're only limited by our inventory, so let's go with get the good stuff first. Engine should be good. Yeah, so now that's why I went with the good stuff first, because we're now full on parts. So that would be why we couldn't pick up everything. But if we pick up something, it means we can... Um, I hadn't finished them already because I only bought them recently because they were never on sale and I just eventually went sod it. Um, and I was trying, because I was trying to, I'd, I'd gotten far enough up the leaderboard that I thought I would chance it. Um, and then it's just a time consuming, you know, it, the, the first episode is like, you know, six odd hours. Another scrapyard. Well, we're out of, we can't, uh, I suppose we could like put parts back in, but that's annoying when they have two scrapyards close together. I should have picked up something from the other one, but yeah, well, we'll just try and judiciously trade parts. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> try not going the thing. Yeah, they are point and clicks. I mean, what I should have probably done is try to, no, I probably couldn't have, because there's a lot of walking around tried to sort of play them what I'm sort of doing at the moment is alternating between them when I need rares I play the you know the first one when I don't need rares I just need um, achievements I play the complete collection because it doesn't have rares because it's the complete collection and you know how TA works um, so I'm just sort of tootling through them um, I haven't, I don't play games as fast as everyone else. I mean, I did manage to get a decent gamer score last 
week because Paul was kind enough to let me borrow a couple of his easy um, game score games. Um, though I did take way longer playing the stupid mushroom game than I should have. Um, Stop engine. Exit. Right. Okay. So. Confirm. Well, it's not full full, but it's close enough. We won't do the whole thing. Alright, okay, so we anything else? Okay, this is why we picked up. We will pick up another full thing of petrol. Hopefully it won't be too expensive at the next garage. We're going through petrol. I can't even see the road. Can we have some lights? Noise? It stopped? Okay, don't tell me about noises, Guma. Um, but yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just turtling through games. I could play quicker. I could recover 25% of my bean dive. Um quite pleased with that. I've not blogged since last Extra Life. I've got so many things that I started. I was going to do a half a mil retrospective. I just haven't felt like writing anything. Um, I'm also open for suggestions for the Extra Life stream. Um, oh, I miss the days when your Baba and I would we would just take Sandy out for a ride. Um, I've got Day of the Tentacle, which is coming out on Game Pass um, next week, I think. And also, obviously, Overcooked, um, which will hopefully consume a fair few hours. Um, Day of the Tentacle, yeah, definitely. I don't know whether I'm going to go for the full game on stream. I guess it's easy to see how it would go, but I definitely would enjoy doing that. Um, I'm not quite sure what to open with, and I definitely want something for my last game that is going to keep me uh, awake. Because playing Cat Quest, although Cat Quest is a lovely game, not a great game for playing at four in the morning when you're trying desperately to stay awake. It's the same with After Party. It was a little bit um, slow. So, um, I mean, you know, anyone that's on TA can access my game collection. I've also got a couple of lists set up of uh, games that I've either earmarked or been given for the stream. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping I have enough to get us wherever we're going, both money wise and. Um, petrol wise <laughs> great if we can't even get to the first stop <laughs> um, I haven't got any particular preference I'm guessing some kind of puzzle game might be a good idea for keeping me awake um, hi Mr. Coolness things are going well we're on a chill road trip trying to drive in a straight line and not run out of petrol basically um, not entirely sure where we're going um, we have some nice music because Kumar changed the station because she didn't like our whatever it was techno rock <laughs> and I have no idea where I'm going I'm just driving down a road and hoping that we'll get to a, a petrol station soon-ish because I'm, a, I'm down to my last can of petrol but hopefully that the garage won't I'm hoping we'd hit a garage. I think this is randomly generated. I'm very glad I picked up that other thing of petrol. I think I'm going to have to pull over. I need to fill up oil as well.
required work uh, full time. But we could replace the air filter. One's better quality, better health. That one's very better quality, but lower health. Let's go with that one. We can't replace the engine. Oil filter. Oh, we've definitely got a better one of that. Look at that. Oil filter, much better. Especially seen as we're... Uh, it's like a Forza was an RPG set in China. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Um, I'm just trying to see what car parts I can replace. There was a fan belt thing somewhere as well. Any idea where the fan belt is? Obviously, I vaguely know where a fan belt is in a car, but... I don't know how to select it. Ah! Fan belt! Okay. Just... no? Oh, do we want to adjust? Oh, okay, well we adjusted it. Cool. We can also replace it with a much better quality, much better health. Let's do that. We can just then sell the old parts. No, I wanted to put petrol in. It was the whole reason I stopped. Ooh, tires. We should have a look at those. Definitely replace consistently. Oh, that one is very dodgy. A better quality one. It's probably because I went into a pavement somewhere. of the muchness. Okay, so it does, they really do look flat, I have to say. And we're putting our last bit of petrol. Unfortunately, that's our last bit of petrol. So, please can we get to a garage sometime soon. Um, but yeah, so hopefully it should be a little bit more efficient because we upgraded some parts. And oh look! There's the garage! We literally... Whoa, a little bit too fast. We literally... We're like just at the garage. So ridiculous. Okay, so we are not even halfway. So hopefully we can sell some parts. Alright, first the petrol. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Sell the part of a thing because that's kind of pointless. We're going to. Oh, this is cheaper. Buy petrol. Fill her up all the way. How much money have we got? I think what we'll do is we'll come back and see after we've looked at the parts, sold some things. Buy or sell parts. Okay, so. We sell that. That. Sell that one. Sell that. Can't sell any more. Okay, so. I certainly want to buy a fan belt, but it's probably a good idea to have one. Just in case it breaks. Um, and one is a better quality, even if it's lower health. We'll just keep that. And 
and oil filter we're just gonna have to chance it to and I think we'll be fine with two wheels okay no no don't well do we want to sell the engine let's go and see if they need a repair Options. Ah, repair, replace. Okay. We don't have enough money to do anything with that. Low anyway. So next advice. Basically, engine and there's a tire. We already replaced our tyres, so can't afford. So parts, I think I can remember our engine was okay. Um, no, oh, I hit the wrong button. But what I'll do will be, because we sold some stuff, let's buy another petrol. It just for safety's sake rather not run out and then try again to sell the engine we picked up at the scrapyard um, right it's a little bit of a management game should have picked up something at the first scrapyard um, even though we have limited inventory space, but we have full petrol oil, we're halfway to Kaiping, um, we're pretty much good replacements and we've got an, at least enough money to be able to sort out stuff, so. And we've got enough petrol in case we run out, so. Wow, let's merge really dangerously without looking. Crash into a thing. I just, there's a scrap pile. I want to pick up some bits. <laughs> it's like, I don't really care if it's bad because that's a really good engine actually. Because you can sell the engines for shit tons. Take that. Grab that. And we may as well grab. We want to get the wheel. So, yeah. There we go. Just so you can sell it. Because we've still got some um, garages we're going to hit. And I'd rather have the option to make some money by getting parts. But I didn't realise you could do that last time and only realised uh, this time when I saw the sell parts. And I was like, yes. Hopefully I didn't dent my front wheel too much when I rammed it into the thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just went, ah, hang on, there's a point there, I can go. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. Um, Sandry's. Oh, coolant light is on. Oh, no, 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 no. It means I'm going too fast. I wasn't trying to go too fast. I not able to pick anything up, but I'm going to have a look anyway. Ah, we could drop some stuff. Mm, what have we got? We drop. We could pick up an oil filter that's not too bad. We drop this tyre. We can pick up that. There's two more engines.
Yeah, we'll just pick that up. Cool. Okay. So we didn't actually get anything, but <sighs> it's it's annoying because it's like two scrapyards, both in a row, and then like ages until you get to a petrol station. Or you'll have a petrol station and then you'll have the scrapyard. When I learned to drive, your grand grand just took me out on the road and showed me what to do. There were no tests, no highways, just dirt roads. I think it made us better drivers. Okay. Petrol is going down a lot faster. Obviously, this is accelerated um, car thingy, majiggies. Also, I should probably be over in this lane. Just because I realised I'm on the wrong side of the road. I shouldn't be in fast lane when I'm doing a slow. But at least my oil's not leaking anymore, which is good. Yes, yeah, so we probably shouldn't tax. And I probably could have repaired the engine. Hmm. Oh, thank you for the raid, Tiger Lady. Party of 14 and the host. Thank you very much and welcome everyone. We are on a chill road trip on the road to Guangdong. So we're actually going to Taiping, I think. Hi, subterfuge. Also, I can't drive straight. <laughs> we are going with our Guma. Who chose the music, so we're not changing it. She did not like our music. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool chill game. Um, doing a little bit of uh, money management. <laughs> but hopefully at some point we will get to the place. We are going to the place... Oh, we've nearly run out of petrol again. Fill it with petrol. Anyway, I should have checked the tires. I'm just gonna check everything. We can't do anything about the engine. Do we need oil? Oil in it. Belt. But just woohoo fits better. Mm, oil filter. Uh, I think we're good with the one we've got. That is better health. Let's switch that one out. Air filter. We've got a quality, but the health's not as good. So we'll wait till the health's gone down a bit before we start switching out that. No, I still need to fill it with petrol. Hopefully now we will hit a, um, a garage and do some selling of some parts, get some more petrols. I really wish I knew how to put the lights on. Is this sandy? It tells you when she's using too much petrol. Higher the engine pitch, the more petrol it's using. Well, I'm trying not to go. The music today has no quality, alright? Your mind really doesn't like the music channel being changed, so. I've been told. We have. Um. Something really difficult to see the road. How do I put the lights on? I feel like this is really dangerous driving. Oh, and thank you for the high subterfuge. On petrol station garage. Destination? I'd set up a destination at this point. I've been driving for about an hour. <laughs> Do 
be fair, Dan did pick the furthest one away just because it had a dog. <laughs> ah, Keanu Aurora. I like the username. <laughs> um, you need to finish this game. Cool, I've just started it, so I'm really enjoying it. Coolant. Oh, it's because I'm going too fast. Try not to drive into things. I'm also thinking that those are the names of Jess's dogs. <laughs> um. Thank you for the house, Mr. Coolness. Um. <laughs> That's fine, Jess. I was like, <laughs> I recognize those names. It's very cool names. Um. You need to finish this. Yeah, I, I literally just started it today. I, I, it's been on my list for a while and I'm like, I need to start it. And I wanted something chill. Um, but yeah, so far, I mean, I, I played the demo. Um, and I visited like an uncle. Um, so we're going somewhere different this time because, well, Dan wanted the pupper. Dan wanted the puppers. So we're going to see the puppers. I'm hoping that's a petrol station up ahead. Let's try not to stress the engine too much. Come on, give me a petrol station. I mean, I've got petrol. It's not like I'm going to run out, but I would like to sell some stuff. Aha, here we are. Petrol station. Ah, you're a couple of visits from seeing the end game subfuge. Cool. Awesome. Okay. <sighs> Two more. Oh, 50 to Code Pink. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. Petrol first. Okay. We need to fill oil. Fill petrol. And buy petrol. We're do, doing okay on oil. Right, parts. We want to sell some stuff. But obviously, we... Okay, so... Quality health. Quality health. Engine. Well. We will clearly sell that. Awesome. Okay. So, those fan belts are not much. Quality health on the air filter. Ah, so that one... That one we should sell as well. So that's high quality health. Hmm, okay. That is a very good engine. I can't afford it, but that's a very good engine. Um, fan belts, let's... Oh no, we didn't actually need to do that. Damn it. We've got a decent fan belt. That was a waste of money. Oops. We should probably get that higher. Spare. As long as we end up with positive, I suppose it's okay, but. Um, this is a good engine. It's, it's a good enough engine. It's fine. That's just a really good engine. My air filter's better. Hand belt's certainly better. Even if the quality of that is... Hmm. I think that's good. And then... No, 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 no. Wrong bit. There we go. Let's check for repairs. Check car. Okay. Uh, severity moderate. A repair cost 170, replace 5. With a much better quality engine. Go on then. Can hopefully sell the old one. Still got a low. What does it want? Still wants the money to repair it. Okay, next advice. Oil filter. Hmm. 
really good quality, slightly lower health, integrity, I think it's okay for now. It says low. Yeah, filter. And we can replace our own, so I'm actually not too worried. It's just low. Moderate that tire. The tires that could do with. I'd probably do those myself. It was just the engine I couldn't fix. Alright, parts. With the old engine. And that was a wheel we sold. We're not going to buy it back. Really wish I could afford that engine. <laughs> we should be good. We might need to replace the wheel. Where's that next stop to sort petrol? Ah, I want to be done. The wrong button. There we go. But yeah, it's a cool game. It's a cool game. The garage. The combination of X's and A's is slightly annoying. Okay, so we've got one garage remaining, 50 miles. We should be okay. Hopefully there's a scrapyard or two to pick up some parts. If anything, it just means we can sell them and then we won't run out of money. That's good. I like that mechanic. Because otherwise it's like... On the first When I did the demo, I was very low on money. We're not far now. Kaiping is so beautiful, isn't it? So different from other towns. So I'm hoping, there's one more garage, I'm hoping there's at least a scrapyard or two. But I think it's ultimate, it's like randomly generated, so. <sighs> so I'll probably do a visual novel as part of Extra Life, just purely because, um, Yard, and I didn't bash into the thing. This trip makes me think of Journey to the West. Okay, so we're going to pick up um, an engine just because. Air filter because that's better quality. Engine because we can sell it. And fan belt. Not great, but it'll do for now. Ooh, thank you for the host leaky. Ha! Huh. I'm the master, of course, and you have to protect me on our journey. Do you plan I can make you the monkey or pigsy? And we have Sandy already, our reliable general. Journey to the west. Not... Um... Odyssey, which is, um... Computer game. Unless it was based on that? That's a game I've got to finish as well, but I think... Did that go backwards compatible? did that for a challenge. I did most of that for a challenge, I think. It was a get the most achievements challenge. Um, I did pretty well. I didn't win, but it was a good game. Odyssey to the... Hmm. I know that there's a DLC that has Pigsy, Pigsy's Perfect 10. Um, game is Odyssey to the East West, something like that. I don't know if it's backwards compatible. It might be. I'm trying to finish all my old 360 games that aren't backwards compatible. Because then I can put my 360 away. I mean, I'm not going to finish finish them all. But I'd like to at least finish the pointing clicks, obviously, of which I have four to do. Um, and I should really do some of the Kinect games purely for the fact that it's exercised and it's getting cold outside which means that it's not warm in here which means I can actually run around though hopefully we'll not kick the floor again but it might be good to see if I could at least try and um, finish off some connect games at the very least finish off the like story point and clicks and stuff that don't require me to jump around like an idiot <laughs> um 
concentrating on not going too fast that the engine goes into the red, but also going fast enough that we actually get somewhere. I want to get to some story. I've been driving for too long. What well, would have possibly made sense. Yeah. Can we go backwards? No. Unless we can turn in here. I just want to see if there's anything decent in the scrap pile. Just the turning. This is some horrible driving. Yeah. Okay, so let's dump this spam belt for now and pick up a slightly good wheel and oh that'll have to do so yeah we've got something for wheel oh actually though while i'm here I should probably check the that one needs changing out Health over quality on this one for now. Just check the car parts. Realign the, uh, adjust the fan belt. We'll have to adjust the fan belt. And there's a little place that there's a slightly better health one. Up for quality, we can't do anything about the engine. Can put in some oil. There's that oil filter in there as well somewhere. Right, so that's higher on all, so we'll put that up. Good. So we've checked everything else. Now fill up petrol while we're here. While we're here. condition. I'm not sure I'd want to be changing out, adjusting fan belts and changing out um, oil filters on the side of the road particularly or even tyres. I mean I'm okay with a tyre pressure pumping up a thing or you know checking the oil, filling up the petrol, filling up the water but um, it's not going to the back of the traffic. Um, well, luckily this game makes it easy to do stuff. At least it's not unrealistic and lets you change the engine. I mean, I can cart around three spare engines, but changing an engine? Nah, it's unrealistic. <laughs> nah, it's cool. It makes you think about, you know, stuff. Like, how do you do a long road trip? You know, if you pick up scrap to sell, that's a, that's a good way of um, getting money for stuff. But we have not stopped to pee. Or eat, and I swear we've been driving for days. Should be one more garage on the way, um, where we can top up on stuff, and then we should get some story. Hopefully, it's been an hour and a half into the stream, and we've only had a tiny little bit of story. We want the puppers, otherwise people are going to revolt. 
Chat will be revolting. <laughs> um, so yeah, but 17 days till extra life. Just pimp out my extra life. Ooh. Uh, the developer wanted an extra something in Care for Sandy, but not much that it bogs down the game of tedium. Yes, I was in the stream, I think, with ID when they were talking about it, which is how I knew about selling the parts. Subterfuge, I think. I think it's good. It adds an extra element. I just wish there was a little more indicator as to how far I was to my destination, otherwise going the right way. I know I can't go in the wrong direction, but yeah. It was a fun stream. It was indeed. Um, but yeah, I could do with almost like a sat navy thing. I guess it wouldn't be particularly realistic. Though I must have a mobile phone that would be like, you know, you will arrive at your destination in 10 minutes or whatever. Point out the petrol stations. I guess it works. I know what I'm doing. I'm just trying not to overheat the car. And I'm, I just filled up with petrol, God damn it! <laughs> um, but yeah, I think the curve for the car is good. Um, yep, yeah, I keep on running out of petrol, which is less fun. Like, I literally just I'll turn off the car. I literally just filled her up. Actually, I'll do the oil check first. Online. And adjust the fan belt because it's always good to adjust the fan belt. Makes the fit fit better. And then, right, we'll put the petrol in. Hope the tyres aren't too bad. But yeah, we're gonna have to hopefully get. We're gonna have to get to a garage soon, else I'm gonna be out of petrol. Have a look at the chat in two seconds. Yeah, so yes, hopefully there's a petrol station soon, um, because if I run out again, I am, um, well, it's, uh, not that I've gotten stranded before, but I hear it's expensive to go get help and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is a lovely game. Um, I was watching... Oh, I think it was during the Zodiac game. Um, yesterday? Yesterday. Which looked pretty intriguing. We had an old truck with a band alternator arm mount. Frequent adjustment. Adjust yeah. I had, um, I had an old car with a, a manual choke. And, um, yeah. That was uh, quite temperamental. If I went over 60, it started vibrating. The whole entire car started vibrating. It was hilarious. Um, come on, petrol station, please. There we go. I can see one. The arm mount was highly in uh, impossible to um, sort. That is, obviously, that would be frustrating. Okay, so we should be able to sell some parts. And, yeah. Oh, we're in Kaiping, at least. So we're nearly there. We just need to stock up on some supplies. Um, so, first of oil. Oil? First of oil? <laughs> that was unintentional. Okay, so. Fill petrol. Fill oil. Um, I'm just going to sell the remainder of that and buy a new one and buy a petrol. I'd like to buy more petrol, but they don't have it, so um, better hope. Um, but I don't hope we don't run out. Um, so yeah, let's sell some parts. So, we've got quality, health, again we've got an engine we can't afford, but 
Let's sell that one that gives us a bit more money. A good tire. Um, let's get a good tire. Should be an air filter. Should definitely get a good air filter. Then we should sell the shifty engine and the shifty wheel. And shifty filter. We'll leave this one for now. Fan belt's okay. Um, I wish I could afford the, that, but I can't. We're okay on tyres. I don't want to sell anything else at the moment, I think. Unless, hang on. No, I think we'll, we'll leave that for now. So let's see what repairs they recommend. Okay, oh, oil filter. We recommend replacing it with a crappier one. I wouldn't have said so. Oil engine. Expensive repair. It's, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, filter's fine as well. That's a good tire. Fan belt. Oh, I can just it myself and save 860. Yeah, I think we're good on that. Hiya, Guma is older, but you don't see me complaining. Garage, you get going. Okay. Okay. So, we should be nearly at our destination. I could waste some time replacing a tire, but I'm not going to. I'm going to just going to try and get to the story, but. There, it said zero, so we're not far now. I think it's a beautiful one. Oh, there we go. Enter. Enter. Park to enter. Dog sitting. Are we happy now, Dan? You better be here after all that. Kaiping. Tuk Tsai and his wife lo love their dog. Bye a bye. Uh. <laughs> Look at those houses, Kuma. Hmm, Kai, Kai Ping is beautiful. Oh, by the way, your Sukta wants us to look after their dog tonight. I'm going to say I love dogs because Dan loves dogs. I love dogs! <laughs> hmm, they're going out on a date tonight. Dogs are so much work. Okay. Guma, go to the food store, go to the house. We should let your Sukta know we're here. Okay, we get some food. Ah, noodles, best in Guangdong. Get it here. Ah, sweeten your taste bud with refreshing desserts. Oh, can we not get food? Hmm, smell from the hawkers is making me hungry. Me too. Hmm, we can get some dinner after they leave. Go ring the bell. Doorbell. Hello? Dai Chai, how was the journey? Oh, Dai Chai, how was the journey? And Sunny. Hello, Zoe Fai. Hello, Adsum. Come on in. Not everyone's got the same voice, I'm sorry. Zuk Tsai, how are you? Dai Chai, Sunny, thanks for coming over. We need to talk to you about the restaurant anyway. Of course. Ask about the dog first. Oh, is this the furball we'll be looking after tonight? Yes, her name is Biobai. Bio. So cute! Well, 
Just show us where her food and stuff are when you go for your date nights. Um. Actually, Daije, Baiwai needs a temporary home for the next year. We're going to start treatment to try for a baby. We thought maybe you and Sunny could look after Baiwai. Yes, we'll take Baiwai. -bai. We can come and take her back at the Spring Festival. That's perfect. I want to host this year's reunion dinner. Will you come? Definitely. Cool. We got a bleep bloop! We didn't talk about the restaurant, but hey. We got two people coming to the reunion meal, so that's good. Wait, all of you. Even if Sunny agrees to look after Baya Baya, they'll be staying with me. We need to think about it first. Sorry, Grandma. Why don't you think about it tonight? Sunny, if you want to get yourself and Daichi some dinner, the stalls outside are pretty good. Oh, and Baya Baya will follow you around now. You tell Baya Baya stay, she'll stay in the house or she'll follow you if you say come. Dinner is a good idea. I remember a roast goose noodle stall that was good. Can you go get some, please? Of course, Grandma. Okay, I want to talk first about the restaurant, but let's go to the side. Um, no, add some. Grandma. They got an empty stomach. Go eat some noodles. Where is the noodle store? Where is the roast goose noodle store? It's right outside on the left. That's okay. Some, any other tips? Do you have any other tips for looking after Baya Baya? Hmm, she loves taking walks and she's really friendly. If you're going out to get dessert, bring Baya Baya the, de the dessert's uncle loves seeing her. Okay. Back. Baya Baya. <gasps> so well behaved, Baya Baya. <gasps> Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? We can pet the dog! She's just a ball of fluff. Okay. Leave the house. Get some noodles. Alright, food stops. Or we could just leave Guma there. Okay, Hoka 1, Hoka 2, it's at the house. Okay, so noodles. Hello, what do you have? The best roast goose noodles in Guangdong. I remembered that dog. It stole meat from my store. Sorry. It's my uncle's dog. I don't care. Get it out of here. Okay, we're going. All right, okay. So Hawker 2 likes the dog. Hawker 1 does not like the dog. Hello, what are you selling? The best desserts in town. Sweet and refreshing. Perfect for the hot weather. As for the food, do you have... Do you do anything else? Just the best dessert you'll ever taste. Come back when you're ready for desserts. Okay. Right, let's leave the... Ready dog and... Yeah... Bye bye. Stay. Woof. Back. Leave house. Food stalls. Complicated. Hawker one. Ah, good. That dog is not with you. That dog is called Bye bye, and she's really sweet. Hmm. <laughs> what can I get you? I got two potions of noodles. Two potions of noodles. Can I have two, please? I I have enough for one portion. I need to cook more. Can you come back later? Uh, Jim, I was hungry. I'll take one round. Great, here, it's on me. Oh, thank you. If you'd like more, come back later. Okay, right, so let's get them to Guma before she dies of starvation. Ah, you got my noodles. Okay. Oh, I'm so hungry. Sunny, we're heading out now. Have fun with Bye Bye. Try and convince Guma, please. Thanks, Sunny. We'll be back in a few hours. Bye, bye. Behave for Sunny, J J. Bye. See you later. Um, I will be responsible. Guma, I'll be fully responsible for bye, bye. You can rely on me. I know it's just a lot of work, and there's already so much change in our lives. Hmm. You know this noodle is as good as I remember it. Our noodles recipe needs improving. We should get the recipe for our restaurant. How? Hmm, I know. If you really want to keep by a bye, you can earn it by getting us the recipe. Okay. I'll try, Guma. Good. 
And while you're out, get me some dessert. The noodles are delicious, but salty. Okay. Alright. Cork to Kuma. She needs some exercise to get the dessert. Okay. Well, I need to leave the house first and try and get the noodle recipe because the noodle people doesn't like me. Ask a recipe. Um, excuse me, Uncle, your noodles are really good. Would you share your recipe, please? See, my noodles are so delicious, she wants the recipe. No, I can't give you my most important asset. You're always so selfish. What? Idiot. I never try and understand my situation. I think it's because I treated you like a brother and you took advantage of me. What? Who's talking to who? Why are you two quarrelling? Oh. Um, go ask him. That guy's just stubborn. If you get him to apologise, I'll give you my recipe. Okay, well, I'm going to talk to him. I want the dog, because he likes the dog. I was confused who was talking then. And we'll also get some um, dessert. Ooh, let's go about the feud. What happened? Why does he want you to apologise? He should be the one to apologise if I just wanted to help him. I even put money aside for him. I can't see what it says because that just came online. <sighs> okay. What could break your friendship? He stole my money. If anyone should apologise, it should be him. Okay. And we treated him like a brother and he betrayed me. Oh my god, this is so confusing. Alright, I can't get dessert, so we're just going to leave the dog because the other the person doesn't like the dog. We don't want to aggravate the other person. This is cool, kind of like a bit of a puzzle. When did you two stop talking? Oh, it was more than ten years ago. Both of you went from best friends to enemies very quickly. That's what happens when he simply accuses me. Just because he lost some money doesn't mean that I had stolen it. Where could his money be? Oh, I don't know. He's always hiding things in all those tins in his store. I won't be surprised if he had forgotten a stash somewhere. Okay. Like a squirrel. We're just taking the dog in and out of the com it's going to be a, it's a very very good doggy but uh, it's going to be very confused <laughs> did you try talking to him i had done as much for him he should just tell me the truth noodles uncle mentioned that you like hiding things in your tins See, he knows where I hid the money I put aside for him. That's how he stole it. But have you checked through all of them? I'm not. Wait, what's this? My money! Maybe it's time to move on. I would like to. But if he didn't take my money, then where did he get money from? He seemed to have gotten rich overnight. Now you've found your money, don't you think you owe him an apology? Hmm, I may have been forgetful, but he's still been lying to me. I'll apologise when he tells the truth. Okay, he is hiding something. Can I please just get some dessert? <laughs> Maybe I'll just leave the doggy here until I can get dessert. Hmm. What is it you're hiding? It's none of your business. Look, he already knows that you didn't steal. Why not tell him how you got the money? <laughs> He'd be angry even if I told him. Why? Because I won it in gambling. He hates people who gamble. Look, I'm not proud of it, but gambling saved my store. <laughs> Maybe you should both tell each other the truth. What did you do? When I was having trouble with my store all those years, I went to the gambling den. Gambling is bad and I know you hate it. But I was lucky and I won enough to save my stall. Hmm. Do you still gamble? No, it was only that one time. Wow, you were very lucky. You know, I have put aside money for you. Thank you. I should have just told you the truth. 
It's okay. I'm sorry I didn't ask you before you accusing you of stealing. Woohoo! Right, can I have the recipe now, please? It's good that you've both made up. I thought I would have to carry my regrets to my grave and never be able to talk to my best friend again. Uncle, you said that I could have your recipe if I got your friend to apologise. Ha, huh, I remember. Are you a chef? My family own a restaurant in Guangzhou, uh, and actually, our noodles aren't very good. You know what? I'm feeling great, and I really want to thank you, so yes, here's the recipe. Woohoo! I got duck noodle recipe! Not duck, goose! Goose noodles! I got Guangdong roast goose noodles. You know what? I would re actually really like that, I think. I feel like I, sh I would like that. We'd have to know what was in it, because I have stupid allergies, but... Roast goose. Oh, that really makes me want Chinese food. <laughs> oh, maybe I should get takeout this week. I haven't had takeout in ages. Trouble is that my local closed, and the one I can get takeout from is disappointing. So I need to do... I need to try and find a different one. Um... But yeah, the one along the road was so good, but they closed, well, to be fair, they closed like a while ago. I just was always hopeful that they would reopen, but they just closed with no notice. Um, it was really sad. So that's Xiong Nongming. But yeah. Go. Right, so before I get dessert, I'm getting the dog. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Let's get this out. I got my best friend back because of you. Thanks again. It was nothing really. That silly feud was making me miserable. Here you go, a free dessert. They'll always be on the house for you. Thanks. Okay. I guess we just give Guma the food. I fixed a ten year fight. The noodles uncles and desserts uncle have been fighting for ten years. Turns out it was just a misunderstanding. It always is. They should have just talked. They wouldn't have had to spend all that time fighting. Sometimes it is hard to talk. Not the recipe. Guma, look, I've got the noodle recipe. Wow, good work. I'm impressed. Thank you. It means a lot to hear you say it. You did well, Sunny. I'm really proud. I'm sure you'll be a good Che Che to Baobo. Ba ba ba. Thank you, Guma. Oh, we now have a dog in our inventory and an achievement. Bye bye. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? It looks like a fluff ball with eyes and a tongue. <laughs> so cute. Okay. Tsukzai Atam, you're back. How was your date? It was great. It was really lovely to have a couple of hours to ourselves. Bye bye can come and stay with us. Guma has agreed. Wow, what did you do, Sunny? She worked hard to convince me. I'm glad you had a nice time. It's late. I should get to bed. Of course. You and Sunny need to get a good night's rest before your drive tomorrow. Good night, everyone. It's been so lovely to see you both. I enjoyed having you. Look, Sunny, we know that your Baba leaving the restaurant to you really changed your life. You'll do well. Maybe even improve the restaurant. <laughs> no need to drag this out. And we'll definitely see you at the Spring Festival reunion dinner. Oh, before I forget, there's a frozen chicken in the freezer I bought for Bye Bye if you want to take it. Yes, please. Thank you. We can put it in the car's freezer box. This can't go wrong, obviously. We have a chicken. <laughs> Here's a light like, seat to start you off at the restaurant on a prosperous note. Congratulations. Thank you, Art Summons Tuxai. Good luck with the treatment. 
I hope that when we see you at Spring Festival, you'll also have a bump. <laughs> that would be nice. We'll get going now. Thanks again. Goodbye and good luck. Take care. Drive safe. I kind of thought they were supposed to give us a thing. Maybe we should have talked about the restaurant. I don't know. Well, we have more money now, which is always good. I feel like hard work and then go round this way. Um, gosh, um, because otherwise if we just go all over the place it's just very inconvenient. I mean, there's no really, unless we do hard work then Big Sister Letter and Gong Gong back to Guan, um, Guan Tzu. Um, either which way, there's going to be a long drive at, again at some point. So we're going to go here next. We did the doggy one. We have a doggy. So we'll do a little bit of driving and see how it goes. So <gasps> look at the puppy. We have a puppy. It's got a blue tongue. It's really quite disturbing. Good to see your tongue suck. Might be the uncle. It sounds like something is troubling him in his last letter. Aye, what is this? It's music, Kuma! No, apparently we have to have the pouring music. So, right. Stuck on something. What he's trying to do is get to the petrol station. Let's make sure we're all topped up. So, four garages remaining. Let's do our little bit of management sim. Plus, we'd see if we can get another petrol thing. Good, we can get another petrol thing. Awesome. So I was worried about that. So let's just top up the oil. Top up the petrol. So we've now got two petrol and a spare oil. That's good. I think I'll have a quick look at the parts. Oil filter, quality, health, integrity. We'll definitely sell that. Buy that. If we buy that and sell that one and that one, we need one air filter. Fan belt. Let's get me a fan belt. So we've got a newish oil filter. Good on that. So how are we on tyres? That is a terrible tyre. But it would do in a pinch. And we still don't have enough money for it. Oh, it's not a really good engine anyway. Health is good. See about repairs. Okay. Engine repair options two hundred and thirty nine. I think we're just going to have a chance it for now. Why is she like talking to the car? <laughs> so we switched out some parts. We didn't end up spending too much extra money doing that. And it means that we've got a good 
air filter and fan belt and a better oil filter. Um, when we stop next for petrol, we'll probably switch out. And hopefully there'll be a scrapyard. We can pick up some stuff. The engines give us a decent amount of money, provided they're not crappy. As long as we don't go too much. Good to see that sounds like. It sounded like something is troubling him in his last letter. So yeah, I don't know whether... So I don't want to be on all night because I am tired. Um, I'll do a little bit more driving. I'm sorry this has been less of a story. Um, maybe we could pick this up again. Um, as part of Extra Life, have a bit of a chill. Especially if I get highly caffeinated. Maybe we can earmark a couple of hours to do some driving. Not when I'm tired, obviously, but maybe... Oh, actually, maybe it'd be a good idea to do some of this after Overcooked. Because I'll be exceedingly hyped and then I, it'll calm me down a little bit and then we can pick something after with a bit more of a story. Because this is not too much talking as well, which is good. Um, except for me babbling. But I definitely want to do a visual novel because story time with Joe is quite a good way to start off the stream. Um, and yeah, see where we fit the other tentacle in. I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, hoping for some good overcooked. I have to make sure I've got my sound stuff set up for that. Whoops. And um Ooh. I'm gonna go past it this time. Okay, so there's a fairly good engine there we'll have. Quality, low health. Need some mother to pick up another tire. Do I get engine and the tire? You can always switch stuff out. We switch stuff out when we, when we stop for petrol. Next, um, we'll switch out some parts. Um, yeah, I guess I could do another half an hour. But yeah, we could do some of this to calm down after a little bit. But I mean, I've got so many games that I can play. Um, it's just a case of figuring out what's going to work nicely for a charity stream and um, also hoping to have some games give away. Um, quite sure how I'm going to do that. Um, Let's check. So, tire, healthy health. Whoa, low health. Let's put a good tire on there. Switch it out for a little bit more health. Not much more quality. It's hard to get the balance. Yeah. Well, I'll definitely be adjusting the fan belt. 
kind of like it very much. Actually. It's quite fun. We'll replace it with a really good one. Replace the air filter with a really good one. Yeah, let's place the oil filter as well. So we just need to put some petrol in. Hopefully it won't be too much further till we get a petrol station, but yeah. I think, yeah, with extra life it's just going to be a mere case of... Uh, did I tell you about your Gungun's Guma? She ran away with American. No one talked about her until we heard that she was in San Francisco. It seems she settled down on a restaurant there, selling Tsepsoya. The Americans didn't know that that was just leftovers. <laughs> Fine. Right, so, another engine. Engines are good to send. What about air filter? Quality health. We could pick it up and compare. Air filter, scrap the fire. Just thinking what's gonna not sell for very much. Tire, maybe. Let's pick the engine just to see if we can sell it. still having fun or just chilling out <laughs> anyone fallen asleep yet <laughs> um, oh in case anyone was wondering Paul got home safely which is good and he's probably catching up on much earned sleep considering he was basically had been woken up every hour um, for the past four days And if even if he hadn't been asleep, the stream would have probably put him to stream to sleep. You are having fun. Good, Dan. And yes, it is very good. I mean, obviously he's now, you know, it was unexpected and has had impact on him. And people really need to start, to start taking better care of themselves and stop getting sick. But um, yeah, I'm glad he's back home. Aside from the fact that he's now with his phone charger, which means that <laughs> he's not restricted. God knows what he's been doing with himself for four days. I'd be bored out my gourd. Even if I was sick. Especially if I couldn't sleep. I feel like I'd need a book. Yes. Is Milo enjoying the stream? Ooh, ooh. Papa! <laughs> I was on a straight bit of road. I don't know if you saw the papa bit, Dan, but we now have a papa. Her name's Bye Bye. Petrol station is here. Promised there were three on this road. I want to reach a petrol station before I get to another scrapyard because I want to sell some stuff. Like three engines weighing down my car. Also, I swear this person is a robot. Ah, there we go, petrol station. No comfort breaks and no food stops. We fed Guma, but not her. <laughs> not not Sunny. 
Puppy is asleep. Oh. We're halfway to Foshan. Okay, we should be able to get there and, and do something. Um, we should be able to at least do one more story beat then, if we do another 20 minutes-ish. Okay, so we need... Okay, so if we sell that and buy a replacement, we'll sell some of the stuff in here. Um, so we can buy another petrol tank, but... We need to do it this way. Oh, and thank you for the host, Dave. Okay. Alright, so... Quality. Right, so we're going to sell this one and we're going to sell that one. We definitely want a new oil filter. Doesn't get as much, but it's great. Um, fan belt, air filter. Okay, so fan belt, health, mm. air filter. We'll sell that one. Less quality, more health, not sure. Engine. We we'll probably ought to put a new engine in. Um, tires. They don't have any tires, so let's just leave the three we've got for now. Fan belt would do in a pinch. Our air filter would do in a pinch. We've got a new oil filter, and that's a decent-ish engine. And we've sold the other two. We've made some money. That's the main thing. So let's buy another petrol thingy before we do anything else to make sure that we have a spare. Price keeps going up, which is slightly annoying. So I'm hungry, which is also annoying. All right, repairs. We could bite the bullet and replace the engine. Good quality engine, lowish health. I think we probably need to, we've got the money. Increases the health. Repair. I think we'll leave that for now. I think we'll just replace anything there ourselves. We could do with some new tires, but we can only use the ones we've got, so. So, parts. I think we could sell the other engine. Um. I think, I think actually we'll be fine. Or oh, actually, should we sell the engine? Doesn't get us much. Yeah, just sell it. Um. Cool. Okay, well hopefully we'll get another scrapyard and we can pick up some stuff. We've got two petrol, full and oil. Petrol and oil are full. We've still got a decent amount of money. And we're about halfway. So, yeah. Let's continue. She won't let us change the music, so I'm not even going to bother. So, yeah. So, hopefully there's a scrapyard somewhere down here. In fact, there is literally one here. It doesn't cost us anything. Ooh, we can pick up a decent wheel. Nice. That is a shitty engine. Excuse my French. Shouldn't say that. Sorry, Alkesh. We have a very good oil filter, so we don't need that. Air filter. 
we've got an okay air filter, fan belts, higher wise, that's a really good one at least. Those aren't great, but it's basically replacements in case one goes. And it's not great, but we may as well pick it up anyway. And then I guess we'll pick up my filter. So we've got the space. And we can switch out at any at the next junkyard. Um, and then when we run out of petrol, we'll do a check on the tires and stuff. Or, well, you know, we'll hit another junkyard immediately down the road. Bit of a crappy, crappy wheel. Is there a not so crappy wheel? that up just so I can compare the two next to each other. We want that one. Get rid of the crappy wheel. Pick up the not so crap wheel. And that'll do. So yeah, we'll put along until we hit a thing. Sorry, that's my favourite song. See? I can't change the radio. Stop telling me to change the radio. Bad energetic popper or good energetic popper? Okay, so what I should do is I'm just gonna actually I'll pull over slightly more safely and check the car before I pull into the garage. Because then I can see alright, quality health. Quality health. Fair enough. That one is at least better than the one that's currently on. Adjust the fan bolts. I think we're good on them. For that one. Oil filter. Well, we may as well bump it up to full. Oil filter. Now we'll just fill that up. Garage, the engine's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll just fill the petrol up the garage as well. So, I we just wanted to switch out any tyres in case we could get a decent, a better deal on other things in here. And we switch out parts! Oh, no. <sighs> okay. As long as we've got enough money to buy petrol, we're good, and as long as the car doesn't break down. So we also will need to... No, oh, we don't actually need another tank of petrol. We're good on petrol, so... Go into the parts. So we are selling... What are we selling? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. So... 
That's a better one. We'll sell that. Quality over health. One reckons it's better because of the health. We've got quite a good quality one. That would be a better health for our engine, but that would also all our money. That is a really good tyre, and that is a really good tyre. So we should get rid of some of that. Crappy tires. Pick up the good tires. I know it's a lot of money, but it is worth it. We can't afford it to do close now anyway, so it's kind of a moot point. But we've got some really good tyres. Hmm, I think I'd rather save my money on everything else. Let's check what it reckons for repairs. We don't have to do any. Hi, Leaky! We're on a road trip! Okay, so, yes, we're not going to make him swap out anything. Okay. Basically, tyres and engine. We've just purchased tyres, so we will change those ourselves. I was at EGX, um, Road to Guangdong. I played a demo for the Summer of Games. Um, right, so I'm just going to look around some tires. So, faulty house, faulty house. Let's just stick a very good tire there. Looks like they're sort of gone into the pavement. It's quite funny. Take down the quality a little bit, but bring the health up is still think better. I think that's a good one. As well, while we're here, just check if the fan belt needs adjusting. Always, and then we're good to go. Right, we've got some better tyres. Awesome. Right, let's go on our merry way. Hopefully, we'll also come across some scrapyard, be able to pick up something to sell. I really would like to get a better engine at some point, obviously. Devil of the scrapyard. Decent enough air filter, may as well. Um, quality health. I was amazed to pick it up. Let's switch it out. It's about getting some dinero, it's getting the cash. But yeah, I think what one thing it could benefit from is a teeny bit of a map, so I know how far I'm going. Okay, so we've possibly got a better wheel. Yes, pick that up. Um, so I can see what progress I'm making towards my thingy because Yes, it shows you at the petrol stations, but, you know, my perception of how long this takes to drive is 
a bit. If the oil level stops to drop, then Sandy probably has a leak. Use with the oil filter. Well, it's not dropping yet, so we're good. I just put a brand new oil filter in, so it better I do not start leaking. <laughs> How was uh, stand-up today, Leaky? Did you do your two minutes? Did anybody laugh? <laughs> It's a jet in it. Go too, fa too fast, I balk my engine. But also, if I don't go fast enough. Ah. Yes. <laughs> we know this, we've seen the pictures of how ADHD, uh, ADHD brain works with the whole instead of telling a story, going from point A to point B, you visit point one and point Z and point alpha and point dog on the way. <laughs> um, so yes, preamble. I guess if you've only got two minutes, you've really got to make the most of it. Um, I could do a show and tell. Um, oh, go on patrol. Just pull over. Stop. Thank you. Um... Point dog is the worst tangent to go off on, exactly. <laughs> just while I'm going down things. I will adjust the fan belt again. Don't need to replace it, but... Oh, that's fine. Oh, of course it's fine. That's fine, how the tyre's been. Those are fairly brand new, so they should be good. So I just need some petrol. Um, yeah, I have to do show and tell for work um, next Wednesday. So I'm going to tell them all about Extra Life. Because, A, promoting my Extra Life. And also, I had no idea what I was going to talk about. So therefore, I'm just going to talk about my gaming and my tips for staying awake for 24 hours. Don't try this at home. Um... There's an hour slot, but it's not talk for an hour. It's sort of do a presentation and then like question and answer. So I'm probably aim to do about 20 minutes of talking. Yeah, the prompt is basically talk about anything that interests you. Because it's show and tell. But I never did a show and tell at school or anything. Um, so it's not, you know. I mean, I've done sort of like unstructured and structured public speaking and I do a lot of waffling on the stream but you know when it's um courage ah I stopped too soon or I'm stuck on a wall one of the two um it's tricky so we need a petrol We're nearly at Fushan, which is good. We should get a little bit of story and then I've got to call it. Um, I need to stop dithering around with the car. Yeah, the thing is that I don't know what to talk about because I don't know what I know and I don't know what I need to know. And <sighs> I don't know. I just feel like I don't know anything like 
like work wise that I can talk on and yeah I, I'm just very bad at the whole what do I talk about thing um, okay so uh, how about firstly we'll sell the engine not very much money but at least let us have a look at this so quality and health eh a decent tyre With that one, buy that. My oil filter's better. I don't need two air filters. That's okay. I'll just leave rather than looking at repairs because we can always do that. But yeah, no, that's why I don't really do any public speaking, aside from this, obviously, because I don't know what to talk about. Um, like doing blog articles I don't want to write about and eh. We've still got enough money for petrol and stuff and I'm not doing too badly, so Ooh, I'm stuck her. We should be able to get to this and do the story bit and then we'll call it for the night. And not far now. I love the drive to some sort of school. Ah. Remember to show him respect to your child anymore. This is the one I did in the demo. Some sucks. At least now I know how the game works. So I should assume I shall do it much better than. Oh, scrapyard! Mm. Half decent tire. Grab an engine that'll sell for something. Yeah. yeah, but I can't even think of any ideas. My brain literally goes blank. This tricks me to think of Jenny the lessons. I think it's Odyssey to the West, to the game. I was trying to think of earlier. But yes, generating lots of ideas is great if you can generate the ideas. I, I'd be happy to generate one or two ideas, but my brain just, yeah, it gets stuck in a... I don't know anything, therefore it can't generate any ideas, and it's really quite frustrating. Um, don't necessarily know that the oil filter is going to be any better. Higher doesn't look any better. I think we're actually not going to get anything there. But if it works for you, then that's great. I'm not sure it would work for me. Plus, I'm not funny and I don't understand humour. So, psh. come on, can you get to the school and have the storyline, and then we can go to bed. <laughs> Yes, it's a cool game. Nice and relaxing. And plus, if we do sort of this half of the map, then we'll have the other half of the map for extra life. If that's what we decide to do, we shall see how we feel. Oh, well, you just learned it this week. You know, I didn't it's actually how lucky. Fair enough.
It doesn't hurt when it feels like we're going in a giant circle. I know we're looking for a dojo, but I'm just looking for the green patch that says park here. But at least now, having watched the ID stream and talked to with developers on, I understand a little bit more how to manage everything. Oh, we've reached into the petrol stations. So let's start. We are in Foshan already, which clearly just been driving around in a circle and missed where we're supposed to go. So all we need to do is fill the petrol, fill the oil in there, and then we'll go to the parts bit and see what we can sell. Okay, so sell the engine. It's fine, I don't want to get anything else. Ah, press the wrong button. Please. I just want to get to the story bit, please. Hmm. I think we just probably... some money but if we're getting to the end that we should actually get some money from people we meet hopefully we can get a recipe yeah we'll actually have a look at the wrong button so recipes we've got one relatives Ah. Okay, it does seem to have some sort of root thing, it's just really hard to read. Ah, there we go. Right. Okay, so we'll do the story beat and then we'll call it a night. Hang on. Tea. Can't drink while I'm driving. I'm gonna have a biscuit before I go to bed. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, this brings back. Oh, the doggy's in the car. Right, we crank the window. Um, bring back brings back memories of summer holidays when I was little. Ah, we used to disturb some sick students when they were training. Go on, knock on the door. It's hot out here. Hello? Hello, is, Mr. is Master Tong in? Who are you? This is his eldest sister. Okay, calm. So rude. Sifu, your family. Hey, I'm okay, I'm coming. Dai Che, come, how was the drive here? So hot. What's going on? Why is your student so rude to us? Oh, um, I'll talk to her later. Come, let's go to my office, it's cooler there. How are you, Samsuk? Sifu, everyone calls me Sifu. <sighs> Sorry, Sifu. Doesn't matter anyway, no one here cares. Tell me, what's wrong? Ah, uh, yeah, my students are useless. They can't even train together by themselves. Why aren't you training them? You never leave them on their own. Dai Che, I can't. <sighs> Sifu is closed to school and moved to Lian Lianning. What? Oh no, we need to talk. 
Sonny, why don't you go and join the students in the courtyard? Some Sook and I will be in his office. What are your students working on at the moment, Sifu? Who is mm, Sifu? A good friend. He's a good friend. Are you okay with Baba's decision to leave the restaurant to me? Work hard and listen to Guma, okay? Please, Sonny, I need to talk to your Guma. Okay, courtyard. Scruff! Hello! Okay, so talk to Yang. Hey, I'm Sunny. Oh, hello, I'm Yang. I recognize you. You used to train here as a child. Yes, I'm Sifu's niece. Just visiting with Guma today. You must know Sifu very well. Yes, he is like a father to me. Do you know Nin Sifu? Yes, Sifu and Nin Sifu were very close. Hi, Paul! Welcome back. Sifu said you're training by yourselves. Yes, he's uh, busy. You've been here the longest, right? Mm, yes. Maybe you should train the others. Hmm, I am not sure. Sifu will be back to train us soon, I'm sure. I should practice. Excuse me. Why? Hello, I'm Sunny. Hmm, I why. Why are you so angry? You would be too if you were wasting time. Is Sifu okay? Ay ay, how would I know? Go talk to Kwong, he's always happy to chat. Leave me alone. King Kwong. Hi, I'm Sunny, I'm Sifu's niece. Hello, Sunny, I'm Kwong. What are you doing at the moment? Oh, I'm just practicing on my own. Are you joining us? I trained- actually, I trained here as a kid. It was just during school holidays. I'm not as talented as all of you. Ha, huh, I don't know about that. Sifu seems sad. Hmm. He's just going through a bad time. I hope Sifu will continue our training soon. Practicing alone is so boring. Hen? To practice. Okay, I gotta go to the office and talk to them because, yeah. Dai Chai, what should I do? Guma. Guma, is everything okay? Amzuk's closest friend just moved away and he's upset. Amzuk just needs some time. Yang recognized me from when we were kids. Yes, he's. He's like a son to you, I just make it official. It's not that easy. Hmm. I want him to take over the school too, but... Hmm. Oh, why, Jay seems quite angry. Oh, she just has a short temper. She's very dedicated and disciplined. She, but she doesn't seem respectful. She's got a good heart. I owe it to Ning Sim Fu to look after her. Why? Ah, well, I was a student before becoming mine. I saw great potential in her, but their personalities clashed. I promised to fulfill her training. Mm, okay. That's about Kwong. What is Kwong like? He's my newest student. The others probably think he's not serious enough, but he is creative and very talented. Sifu, what was your training like when you were young? My Sifu was a strong leader, a good mentor. I wish you were more like him. I, I just want them to do well. I wish Yang would use his initiative. Yang ready to lead, Sifu? Yes, I was hoping he would naturally find his place. I don't want to push him. Will Wache and Quang support Yang? They already do. Ah, wait. Amaya's Yang's knowledge and skill. Quang treats Che Yang as a hero, but Yang is too humble to see it. My students are all very different, but I know that together they will make a strong team. Okay. Courtyard, let's try again. Alright. Uh, let's go with away first. Leave me alone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's try Kwong. Right, so Merlin said boring. Alright, no, let's go for Yang then, fine. Alright. Leadership. I didn't realise you're becoming a Sifu yourself. I I I I'm still training. Sifu said that you're ready. He, he never told me. He 
you can do it. I, I feel ready. I just wasn't sure if Sifu thought I was. I've wasted too much time. Will you help me talk to Awa and Kwong? Of course. Alright. Awa. A left knee. Hmm. Mine's slightly dodgy. Probably not worth it. <laughs> Alright. Yang is the most... Watch out. You know Yang is the most experienced here after Sifu. Of course. I know my place. Uh, what, what Sunny means is while Sifu is busy, maybe I can run some training together. That's the best news I've heard. Thank you, Yang. I think Yang can bring some discipline and experience to the training. That's the only thing you've said all day that makes sense. Will you join me if I need a training session? Of course. Just tell me when, I'll be ready. What do you think about Yang leading a training session? Wow, that'll be awesome! Really? You seem to be enjoying free practice. Yes, but I always get stuck. Maybe Yang can bring some creativity to your tra training session. Yes, this break has showed me that I need variation in my training in order to improve. That's really perceptive and a great idea. I'll think of something different for our sessions to get us out of bad habits. Yay, let me know when you're ready and I'll come join you on your training. Train together! Thanks for training with me. It's good to see everyone practicing together. Let's go through the basic form together. Okay. Wow, you're all at quite different levels. Kwong, stop improvising. This is not a dance class. You need to loosen up. You're too stiff like a piece of wood. You're both right. What we need is to learn from each other and create a balance. Discipline gives us good grounding, which is important for form. Then we can apply creativity to maximise the potential of each stance. Awesome. So let's begin. It's a bit like Tai Chi. Discipline really helped me focus. And after we mastered the form, being less rigid and more creative made it follow flow better. Yes, it's all about balance and understanding how to work with your own strengths and weaknesses. You are a good team. See if you chose as well. And you're a good leader, Yang. Yes, you should train more train us more often. Sifu would be so happy if he saw you practicing together. Yes, he would. It's hard work training all of us and looking after our different needs. I feel like we've not appreciated Sifu enough. Yes, I have been very hard on him the past few weeks. Sifu is going through a hard time. We should look after him. I'm going to talk to Sifu and invite him to come watch us train. Sifu, I need to talk to you. Yes, Yang, what is it? Um. Yang is a natural leader, Sifu. Yes, he is. I, I'm sorry I haven't applied myself better in the past. I just want to make you proud. I am very proud. Yang, you wanted to tell Sifu something? Sifu, thank you for everything you've done for all of us. I'm fulfilled to see all of you mature in your practice. Now you've led a class, tell me what have you observed with Awa and Kwong? Well, Wai Che is really disciplined to the point where she seems unable to be flexible. Whereas Kwong is the opposite, he needs a creative environment to motivate him. It's like he's talking about my team. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, and then your role as their teacher? I showed them how they can learn from each other and benefit from a balance. I gave them space to explore while quietly guiding them. Good. Sunny, you were with Yang through the training. Do you have any questions? Yes, about discipline and creativity. Yang, what are your ideas on discipline and creativity? I think discipline represents our mind and creativity represents our emotions. They are both strengths in their own right, but together they provide stability. 
see through. What are your thoughts on them? One builds the foundation, the other provides flow. Without foundation, you have nothing. So Yang, which do you think is most important? Discipline, creativity, or both? Hmm. Maybe Sunny can help you. It's hard to achieve a balance of both, but having just one doesn't seem good enough. Sunny's observation. Balance, discipline, creativity. I think balance. Balance of both. Discipline and creativity. Yes, like the relationship of a father and son. The father, always right, always practical, never emotional. The son, always emotional and scared that his emotions will show him as being weak. Young. Yes, Bob? My son, you are not weak. Your emotions make you stronger than me. I hide behind my discipline and have never been able to come out because of it. Thank you, son. We should go to the others. They've been waiting to show you our training. I am very happy that you have been training together. Please show me what you have been doing. It's very clever how this game's put together. I like that. I like it indeed. I see improvements in your stances. And more importantly, in your understanding of the flow. You have learned so much from each other. Yeah, and you did a good job of leading the others. I am proud of you. You are ready. Thank you, Sifu. Sunny, we shouldn't disturb Sifu's training any longer. Ah, come to my office. I have something for Sunny, then. Sunny, you've really helped me and my students today. Thank you. I want you to have this tong recipe that's been my safekeeping. Woohoo! We got the tong recipe! Awesome. Yay! Butter's delight! Lo Hansai. Tastiest vegetarian stir fry with an array of textures. So it's definitely worth hanging out for that. I think you'll use it well, and with Guma's guidance, you'll be able to, be able to bring new life to the restaurant. I have something else for you. Your Baba sent me a letter when you graduated. I think you should have it. Your Baba and Mama were very proud of you. Aww. Letter from Sifu. A letter Sunny's Baba sent to Sifu just after she graduated. It's full of unreserved praise and glows with a pride in Sunny he never had the chance to share with her in person. Recipe for a disaster. <sighs> yes, you were good to your sums up today, Sunny. Thank you, Sifu. Thank you, Guma. Sifu, would you come and join us at the Spring Festival reunion dinner? I would like to host it like Baba always did. Of course I will. Yay! Bleep bloop! Hard work! And that is Sunny. I know that your parents are very proud of you. We all are. And I think it's only right that I bring my son with me. That would be wonderful! Yay! We also got... Yang. Some Yang and Sam have made their relationship as father and son official with a help from Sunny. Awesome! We have not yet met three people. No. It's any reunion me meal for not met seven. I was trying to do maths and that was wrong. So there's Gugu and family, uh, Guma's associates, David Tong and Mama. Different from the other one. Yeah, anyway. Oh, thank you for letting me spend the day at your school, Sifu. You've grown up so much, Sunny. Remember, we all need a bit of discipline and creativity in our lives. Always remember that Guma is always right. Where are we going next, Guma? Oh, I don't mind. I'm looking forward to a nap. Ha, huh, you're always happy to be on the road with Sandy. Time to go. We need to get going. Before I forget, I know much attention, so how much attention Sandy needs. Please take this money in case you break down. It's okay, Sufu. I insist. I know how stingy Guma can be. Thank you, Sifu. This means a lot. Bye, Sunny. Bye, Chachi. See you at Spring Festival. Woot! 
and we have some money. Nice. Saving game. So I think is it saved? I don't want to pick. So do we go all the way to Big Sister? And then just work our way back? And hope that we've got enough money for petrol and stuff. I have I've, I've got to pick it. It has saved. I don't want to break anything. Um, I think that's probably the best way of doing it. If we're going to run out, we'll run out. So we're going to Shenzhen. Um, so hopefully we won't break down. We'll just keep an eye on the parts. We're doing okay so far. So return to main menu. And, well, okay, that was slightly longer. <laughs> Never mind, I was like, oh, I'll do another half an hour, and I did another hour, but it was worth it. It was a good game. Um, so, thank you very much, everyone who's watched. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the game. It was Road to Guangdong. Uh, came out August. Um, it's $20, just under £17. Um, I think it's definitely worth picking up especially if you enjoyed it. Plus, you get to pet the dog, always good. Nice relaxing game. Um, Achievement-wise, not too bad. Visiting relatives, getting recipes. Um, I'm not entirely sure how you can screw up, aside from if you mismanage your petrol and your car, I guess, and not manage to visit everyone. Aside from that, I think you can probably manage to visit everyone if you manage it okay. Um, so yeah, but that's been fun. Um, I'll be back on Thursday. I think I'm gonna play some Lair of the Clockwork God. Hopefully it will not kick my ass. Um, it will be... Um, because someone solved the final puzzle, I think. Uh, I'd like to try and at least get further so I can have a chance at solving the final puzzle. Um, I think that'll be fun. Um, oh, and thank you for those very cute emojis, Leaky, which no one can see because there's no chat on the screen. Sorry. Um, and I'm not quite sure why that squid is eating, but it sort of looks like a stapler from here. <laughs> um, so yeah, so 17 days till Extra Life. Um, I hope everyone can tune in. Oh, he's a party popper. Um, I hope everyone can tune in and support me. I'll be streaming for 24 hours. Um, if you want to check out, I've started to put up a partial schedule. Um, but as always, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Now that's throwing a table, I'm sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been fun. Thank you so much for accompanying me on this awesome road trip. Um, if you enjoyed my stream and you're not already following, please click the purple button below. Um, I would appreciate that and then I will let you know when I'm streaming next. Uh, for those of you who um, don't know, I'll be back on Thursday at 8pm UK time, same time, same place. Um, and as I said, thank you for watching. I've been Joe. otherwise known as Ancient SK, and I bid you 